It's been a little bit. Hello, my internet friends and family. Welcome to another video. It has been too long and I apologize for that. Today, we're gonna be going over the blasters that will be used in Nerf Gun Game 8. So listen, I understand I've been away for a little bit. As you know, the world's kind of falling apart, but that doesn't mean I can't still provide entertaining content for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna try to do and I'm gonna get on it. So we have 20 blasters here, 20 weapons blasters, because there's two swords and stuff, but we got 20 weapons here for Gun Game 8, and I'm gonna show them to you guys because these videos will give you the idea of what you are gonna see in Gun Game 8.0. Yeah. And so without any further ado, Ski, let's get right into the blasters. But first, if you're new here, hit subscribe and hit that like button because guys, likes feed my family. I'm kidding. But yes, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. What is your favorite blaster out of these 20 that I'm going to be showing to you? But without any further ado, we're gonna show the blaster starting off with number one. All right, super quick and simple. This is the Fortnite Llama Pistol. You put one dart into the llama's mouth and you pull down like that and then you fire. Super easy, it's gonna be nice and quaint little starting pistol for the game, gun thing, yeah. Number two, this is new blaster for the Zombie Strike line for 2020. This is the Zombie Strike Quadrot. Now, how it works, super easy. You have four darts in the front. You load them in like that. You pull from the back and then you can fire. Bang! It holds four shots, super practical. A very war effective pistol if you ask me. And we're using it. Next up, we're going retro. This is the Nerf and Strike Night Finder. Super easy. You put a dart in the front just like everything else. Pull it back, but look, if you don't pull down the trigger all the way, it shines a little laser beam so that you can target your enemies. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. And then he's fired like that. Super easy, super fun to use. Oh, I can spin that. Gun game. This is the Scout Mark II. You take a dart, you put it into the blaster, you pull it back like that. It holds four darts in there. And let me put another dart in. Ah, yeah. You put four darts in here in this nice little rotating barrel, and then you pull it back from the back and. Oh, that did not fire right. And then you fire. It is super easy to use, super simple, and yeah, nice little elite pistol for gun game. Moving right along. Another oldie but a goodie. This is the Nerf Dart Tag Fury Fire. This one is super old. So, you put darts into this rotating cylinder just like so, and then you fire. Oh wait, shoot. And then you fire, just like that oh i moved my camera that's not good fury fire super plain and simple this is the green one they also come out with an orange one you just pump it like that and then you fire holds 10 shots this is super practical if the range was good it only shoots 30 feet because it's old new rival blaster this is the nerf rival takedown now how this works you prime it like that it opens the door you take some rival ammo and you put it into the blaster shut it like that it'll shut the door and then you can fire just like that. It holds eight shots in there, pump action. It's a nice, very practical, war using effective weapon for gun game. Now this one's cool. This one came out at the beginning of 2019, I think. This is the Nerf Zombie Strike Nail Biter. So how this works is you take the clip from out the top of the blaster like so, and you load in some darts into there and then you push the clip back down. But you're probably asking, how do you prime it? Where's the priming handle? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? No! All you have to do is this. And you can fire. You just have to pull the trigger, which makes this super effective for every Nerf War because all you have to do is just go, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, for those that don't know how to fire Nerf guns, all you have to do is pull the trigger on this one. And that's why we're using it in gun game. Next, this is the Nerf Fortnite hand cannon. How it works, take a dart, put the dart into the fruit, into the front of the gun, just like that. Pull it back right here. Take your gun and fire, just like that. 
it works super easy because all you have to do is prime it and shoot it and it only holds one shot which isn't really good but it'll be good also next up this one's cooler this is the nerf fortnite tactical shotgun pull it back like that load in four darts right there i'm gonna just put in two to show you just like that close it and then fire just like so they fire super smoothly and this prime action oh it sounds very good and that's very loud and then we have this is the nerf fortnite smge how this works let me put these darts back how this works is you take out the magazine just like so and then you go into your nerf dart bucket and you put in some nerf darts into the magazine and hold six i'm putting in three just like that and then you fire it's flywheel so it's awesome and you can of course put a bigger magazine in here if you really felt like it but the six round fortnite magazine is probably what you want to use because it looks super cool Ooh, then we have an oldie but a goodie this one is the nerf zombie strike brain saw so how this works is you take your darts just like so you put them into either side it works either from the left or the right and then you prime it at the bottom just like pump action and then you take one shot ah take two shots ah it also has a saw on the front. So if you wanted to go up in the zombies and you wanted to kill them with your saw instead of your gun, then it, it'll work that way. So this is the Nerf Zombie Strike Brain Saw. <laughs> After the Brain Saw, we're using this beauty, the Nerf Elite Trilogy. This came out at the beginning of 2019, 2020, 2019. How this works, you prime from the bottom up top. Oh, look, it opens. Then you take one of these snazzy looking shells, which holds darts in it. Yeah, put the shell into the blaster and then you shut it and now it's ready to fire. And then you take it and you fire. Just like that and it shoots three of them. But then look, this is the coolest part. When you pull it back, oh, it didn't do it. But then look, when you pull it back, the shell ejects from the blaster. And then you can take a new one, put it in, and repeat the whole oh god and repeat the whole process over again that is the it, it, it doesn't like to work sometimes but that's the trilogy next up is one of my favorite nerf blasters to ever come out and they re-released it this is the nerf end strike mag strike icon edition so this is the mag strike of course because it's the icon edition it's a little more new and a little more improved so it's going to be better and it's not going to die on you when you run out of air so how it works is you load your darts into the front of the clip like this once i get all 10 in there and then all you have to do you don't have to prime back or anything you just have to pump that boy up with air and then let loose so loaded clip here's your gun put the clip into it like so and then pump it like 30 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty six seven eight ten twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five thirty and then you fire ah oh ah there you go that's the uh, mag strike. But let's say that the brain saw isn't the zombie strike weapon for you to kill zombies. Well, I have something better. This is the Nerf Zombie Strike Revoltinator, new at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. So how it works is you load in some darts into your magazine like so. Three, dang, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go, we'll put eight. So you put, you could hold 18, I'm putting eight. So you load them into your magazine, put your magazine into your blaster, just like so, rev it up. Look, it lights up because marketing. And then I shot my camera down. But yeah, it's super cool because it lights up and it's the first flywheel zombie. Oh, I had more darts in here, no way. It's super cool because it's the first flywheel zombie strike blaster and that's what's going to make it awesome for this video. And after that, we have a blaster that I just recently did a review on. This is the Nerf End Strike Elite Titan CS50. That's right, you heard me. 50 darts in here. You rev it up and then the barrel spins. It's really cool if the magazine worked all the time. You can put about 15 in here and they'll all fire. I'm out of breath. You can put 15 in here and they'll, they will, ugh. you can put 15 darts in this magazine and they will all fire. But once you surpass like 20, you'll start having some hiccups, but it still looks cool. And we're still going to use it for the video because who doesn't love this? It's huge. This is the nerf. Ah, this 
is the Nerf rival Percy's. This thing is the best Nerf gun ever, and I'm gonna show you why. Because you rev it up, listen to those motors rev, and then you can do this. Tell me that's not the coolest Nerf gun you've ever seen in your life. Percy's gun game. This is the Nerf and Strike Elite Rapid Strike. This is pro arguably the best Nerf gun to ever be made because you can mod it and because it comes with an 18 round stick mag and because it's a, it looks like a, it could be a, a gun and then you put darts into the magazine. It comes with a clear magazine so you can see your ammo. Put the darts into the magazine, put the magazine into the gun and then you fire. Just like that, mine's kind of dying, but we're gonna replace the batteries for gun game, and that is the next gun for gun game eight. The final gun we're using is the Nerf Fortnite RL rocket launcher. Put your missile into the front like that, and then you pump from one side, and then you release. It's a rocket launcher. It's everything you ever wanted in a rocket launcher, and it's better than the Thunder Blast because the Thunder Blast was terrible. Fortnite RL gun game eight. Whee! And then next up, we're gonna be using the Vendetta Double Sword. Why are we using this again if we used it in Gun Game 2? Well, I'm gonna tell you. When we used it in Gun Game 2, I used it as just a single sword, and I sword fought my friend Blaze, and we fought like we both had a sword. But it actually comes as one big sword. So I'm gonna use it as an actual big sword, and I'm gonna like block bullets or something like pew, 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 and then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go bah, bah, bah. So we're gonna use this for gun game. And last up on the list is the Nerf Claw Hatchet. Why are we using this? Well, again, it was in gun game too, but I never got to use it because I never got to it because I lost that gun game, which is my most viewed gun game. Yeah, y'all like the ones I lose in. I don't know why. Anyway, Nerf Hatchet, I never got to use it, so you never saw a full like, ax throw. I could have broke something there. You've never seen me use it in like the first person shot, and so that's why we're using it. So, those are the blasters for Gun Game 8.0. If you did enjoy this video, which is very high energy because I'm in a good mood, please hit the like button, do subscribe, oh, I caught it again, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, my internet friends and family. Hope you're staying safe, stay home, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!